Welcome back to a very special Careful Boys, where we are very careful boys. What's and up? Today, we have an, a question. Is cheating a deal breaker no matter what? Oh. You mean like cheating while in, your, in the relationship? In your relationship. I think it depends on so many different factors. Because for some, it's like hard line, boom. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> like how many years? You've been together, how old you are. Do you have kids together? Oh, yeah, do you have kids? How fresh is the relationship? And are we talking about strictly sex or is it like emotional cheating? That kind What's too. What's cheating that's, to you? That's true, that's true. Well, I just I just yeah, know that there have been completely different conversations, right? It's Where whatever it's like, you said has cheating, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if that happens. You, you know what's funny? Hannah, was, Hannah said that, um, she's like, if you do cheat, she goes, I think you're gonna cheat accidentally. And I'm like, how do you accidentally fuck with someone? And she's like, no, I think, you're gonna have a girlfriend accidentally. Like you're gonna get into a relationship, like so you're gonna accidentally. put a ring on it accidentally. Yeah. And I'm like, how do how does one get into it accidentally? She goes, it's kind of like how you always end up with shit up your ass. You know? She's like, you always like falling on your chair, falling on flashlights and stuff. So she's like, so she's like, no, no. She goes like, prom photo, because you're very friendly. So you're gonna just talk to a bunch of people, and then before you know it, you're gonna be in a relationship with the girl. Because you're enjoying that conversation, yeah, but you don't talk that, like that. But who knows? She goes, you're gonna, you might have attraction that that's gonna, and for like, it's like one of those things where like, I might be friend zoning them, but they're onto me. And then just suck it. Oh, so you won't yeah. know that you're like leading a girl on. Yeah, because we're just having a blast. Okay. As like peoples or whatever, but, right? But and then, yeah, like she's sucking my dick and I can't resist and I'm yeah, like, yeah. I guess I got a girlfriend now. Oh, so, yeah. but then, so if she's that's saying, cool. if she knows it's <laughs> accidental already, isn't it okay? It was an accident. I guess so. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's Bart's what got she your was back, kind of bro. saying. Like, you can fuck other girls if you want. Because I know you're an idiot and you'll have an accident. Got it. Is that kind of like a light hall pass she's giving? I don't think so. Oh. It was a diff it was, the context was, was different, but it, it was like- It sounds like low expectations. It was more like- <laughs> <laughs> I think she was just saying you're an impulsive idiot. <laughs> but it sounded like- you're just, you're so naive that you would accidentally get into a situation that you can't get out of. Yeah. Because it wasn't intentional. And I'm like, okay, I, I really do see that because I don't ever think about like cheating on her. You obviously. guys are unique. Mm -hmm. That's very, yeah, yeah. You're meant to be. Good oh, for job. Sure. Yeah. You're like, oh, oh, I'm sleeping with a girl, and I'm like, that felt real good, but I think that was a big mistake. Like bro. she's not even like you're gonna accidentally cheat. It's like you're gonna accidentally be in a relationship with another human being for a long time. <laughs> like what the fuck? Long-term relationship. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm clueless about it. It's like, hey, we're just friends. We're fucking, but we're friends. Yeah. I mean, that's very hard mm -hmm. to do considering you you talk about Hannah like pretty often. So a girl would have to have that's never game, dude. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. game. It's his so on-camera live presence. Yeah, yeah. I wonder yeah. how many other things she thinks she'll accidentally do. Like accidentally buy a car, sign a like seven-year lease to somewhere. <laughs> like what other accidents? You guys gotta you ask. Know? Maybe you gotta ask her because I try to first, I try to understand it because I'm like, how do you accidentally get into a cheating situation? But it made sense after she explained just explained it. All? Yeah, maybe. Because it's like she goes, yeah, you'll know that you're like in love, but you'll accidentally fall in love because you didn't create barriers to be careful for. Uh, you're just like in the moment yeah, having you, a blast. I can understand that yeah. being like needing to be risk averse because nobody, or I don't want to say nobody, but it's not like people who like uh, find themselves in cheating situations are like, I'm going to go cheat today. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. they, but they just don't make the right risk averse choices. Yeah, they haven't put the precautions. Right. Right. Yeah, that's yeah. Okay. Now they're in a circumstance. Yeah. It's, like, it's like Congressman well, Anthony Weiner is what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he's, like, he's like, too close. How am I on this the phone with a 16 year old girl sitting on my dick? This is weird. He's like, I can't believe How this. How am I doing? How the heck am I doing this? Yeah. How did this well, happen? They're not expecting to do this. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what an accident. <laughs> I know what you're saying, Anthony. Oh, oh there's foot sprays in my asshole. How did that happen? Yeah, foot oh. spray. <laughs> Watch this video for reference that's not linked. Yeah. Do you think that happens. whatever parameters you set with Nina about what cheating is, <clears throat> is it a deal breaker for you? Like if she were to do it? If she were to do the thing that you said cheating is, yeah. And she's sorry. I mean, short answer, yes. Long answer, I think context comes into like so much. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, uh, I think. Um, so, short answer, you would forgive her? No, short answer, it is cheating. It short is answer, cheating. it's like, it's a deal breaker. Okay. You know what I mean? But, like, long answer, like, the circumstance, the context, like, was I doing something that fucked up for like uh, like the last year and I was, was I pushing? You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I, I think that there might just be. I think the but answer is, it's wrong to do it. Absolutely. I think, I think that's like a. 
a very like having been through and lots of experience type of answer. But in your younger, because I feel like you know when you're younger, things are way more black and white. Oh, dude, Actually, yeah. I think I think when um, <laughs> I was younger, I had way more um, absolutes. Yeah, 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 yeah. And the reason why I had more absolutes is because it was so much more simple. Like you didn't have a whole entire like life and career maybe with your partner. You know what my deal breaker was? Mm -hmm. Like in uh, like maybe early high school, it was like. If you cheat on me, we're breaking up. If you don't give blowjobs, we're breaking up. <laughs> me too, me too. It was like, I was like, those are deal breakers. You guys don't leave me hanging? <laughs> it's funny because it's, you know what I mean? Stand up, stand up. <laughs> when, you're a, when you're a 17 year old boy and you find out she doesn't give head, you're like, what? <laughs> like, if you cheat on me, you don't love me. If you don't blow me, you don't love me either. Yeah, yeah, for real. <laughs> wow. That's, that's real fucking affection, bro. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of a good absolute, you know what I mean? Back at that age, it's acceptable. It Not even that age. I was like 20 fucking four, <laughs> and I was dating this girl who like told me she doesn't get blowjobs, and I started cheating on her immediately with, with my ex. I'm not kidding. I fully got- That guy just called you a cheater, dude. He's like, you fucking cheater. I fully got a blowy. Oh wait, I'm a cheater now. Oh, shit. Ah, son of a- Oh, oh wait, advanced expert. For you. <laughs> Don't worry, I got this. Please, please Take that out. Like, the, it's, it's so funny because that's really like one of the biggest goals of guys is like, is like sexual things. Yeah, yeah. When you're, Especially that yeah, age. When you're yeah. young, it's like you just want to know what everything's like. Yeah. Yeah. I want to know what's like inside the, of your mouth, like your mouth. Because that's <laughs> the peak of it all, right? Like, you're not thinking about building a family. You're not thinking about all the adult shit. You're just thinking about she looks good and I want to feel yeah. her. Short term oral yeah. lease. Yeah. <laughs> and skills. I'm skill about development. Airbnb, dude. I don't even. That's a long term for me. Yeah. You want a time you share? You know what's also really <laughs> fucked up? Um, you're like uh, discovering your own ego at that age too. Oh, yeah. And so like when you, you didn't know you could get some, right? And then you get some and then you're like, the second somebody else maybe hotter or whatever that you knew was out of your league suddenly shows interest, you're like, oh, you didn't know that you could even get into that place of interest. Mm -hmm. And you, you kind of start climbing yeah. this weird yeah. ego ladder, yeah. but you don't, you don't know that it's like, this is my ego, yeah. you're just like, I didn't even know. Your ego I, won't yeah. admit it's the ego. Yeah, oh, yeah. Dude, I was climbing that thing one, the back of one neck at a time, dude. Like stairs. Damn. Stepping on the back of one neck, stepping on the back of another neck. Next thing to you the know, top, huh? You're just pinning chicks down, stepping on their fucking heads, and just doing your thing. <laughs> <laughs> you're just it's crazy. Is this an excerpt from your book? <laughs> <laughs> Steve's Porn star memoirs, chapter eight. <laughs> you know, I know something kind of weird too is that like, <clears throat> so when we're young, we have these natural absolutes, and it's it feels so strong to be like, no, I don't care. It's gonna be this, and like, of course, I had those growing up, and then as I'm maturing, I'm starting to get more like leeway and be less absolute. But at the same time, it backfired because. When you're not as absolute in one direction, you're also not absolute in the other. Mm -hmm. And I ended up having the problem of girls I dated feeling like I also could leave at any moment. Whoa. And because they they, they thought it was too indifferent. Yeah. Because oh, it was so you didn't care enough. Yeah, because they're like, oh wow, like I grew into this space of like, no, I think if no matter what happens, like it's open for discussion. Like I'm not absolutely gonna leave you. But they wanted some I'm also not jealousy. Stay. Right. Because they almost feel like it's either both sides of commitment. You're either yeah. committed or you're not committed. What is yeah. it? But yeah. it's like, but yeah. it, it means so much though. So transitioning away from like the young mentality of like absolutes, if you skip that part and you just get rid of the attitude as a whole, you're going to lose both ends. Mm -hmm. So it's more like, oh, let's just fix one side through experience and then not necessarily do this. Mm -hmm. You know, it's hard to remember that. Yeah. Uh, it's not easy to be dumb around you, is it? Because I want to just take a stand and just like make a hot take and then you're bringing all this nuance I'm like, oh shit. Yeah, I didn't think about it that way. What? Too much critical thinking. Fuck yeah. that shit. It's Why easy to look. Why are you so uh, thoughtful, yeah, dude? True. Because everyone... Hey. What the <laughs> freak, dude? Oh, whoa. 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 Sick, sick, sick. Oh, this oh yeah. Head flip, head flip. Hawk, head Hawk would have never been able to do that. Oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> It's, it's also, I have the disadvantage of most people having died around me, so that's, that's nothing to be proud of. Perspective. I look at life differently. Yeah, Perspective. it sucks. One of, one of my most um, eye-opening moments was, uh, like, my parents obviously got divorced when I was, like, six, so I never really had that, like, 
wholesome cu uh, couple role model or like how people show affection and uh, affection you know how people like they 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 usually have some sort of role model that they naturally like oh, okay that's what love is or whatever that was it for my grandparents that was my my uh, my mom's side where every time I went back to Taiwan like they're like the cutest little couple and they would like Walk, take walks in the park and you would see like my grandma holding my grandpa and they're like looking at birds and talking and like the way my grandpa like uh, was such a gentleman with my grandma like I was just like oh shit I think that's like how it's supposed to be and it was very like almost Disney and chivalrous yeah. and I was like I'm, I'm gonna aspire to be that and then so I thought they were the perfect couple then when my grandma got Alzheimer's she started saying crazy shit because um, and things from the past would come out and then so she would just like randomly come out of her bedroom and be like, you didn't fuck me enough. And all my grandpa was trying to do was like, hey, it's time for lunch. <laughs> it's time for lunch, guys. Yeah. My grandma would have an episode, you didn't fuck me enough. And then one of the times like, you fucking cheated on me when you went on those goddamn boats and you did. And my, my dad, uh, my grandpa did work on a boat and he would go off to like shore. He was a player seaman. Yeah, and he was like, you went on those fucking boats, you cheated on. And I was like, oh shit. And I think I was maybe like, Wow. Late teens, early 20s, but then you start to see like what was so beautiful, like what it took, I guess, to become such a beautiful picture and how everything is, oh, isn't is always like yeah. what it seems and yeah. people have their own struggles and yeah, like, don't put things on a pedestal because who knows what the real Bro. story was. It was like, like, like Will and Jada? I was yeah. like, exactly. I was like, that's I do a couple crazy, for sure. dude. Damn. Yeah. Damn. I just think for me, trust is just so fucking wild. Like, trust is the base layer to any relationship. And if I lose that, it's done. Yeah. Like, I can't get that back. I feel like that's how I am too. That's a fire gone, poof. And I'm like, ooh, I gotta, I can't, I can't be here anymore. Cause I think the reason why somebody would cheat or something like that would be understandable. And you could take fault and be like, yeah, for sure. But you still went out of your way to hide and, and, and not be truthful. So, like, at a certain point in time, it's hard for, at least for me to be like, I, 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 I can't ignore that. No. Like I kind of look at people differently. Like I, even I respect I, it. I've had friends who like cheated on their girls and then I'd be like, bro, I can't even look at you the same. Same bro. Like same. to the point, to the While point. high-fiving them and stuff? Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, you were talking yeah, about Yeah, like my <laughs> I never talked to them again. I, I distanced myself and just like, they, I mean, like I said, the, the, the wife probably thinks I'm the biggest asshole ever because I just ghosted them, but I didn't know what else to do. I, was, I couldn't be a liar to her. Yeah. Because she was my friend too. Yeah, you that's feel tough. guilty, like a, like a cooperator. Yeah, I, I was. I, I was a total accomplice. Like, he was doing it in my place. And I was like, what the fuck do I do? Yeah, it was like, you're an accomplice, dude. Yeah, but I didn't, I thought it was a bit. Like, I thought it was a bit. Like, the way he talked about it, I thought crazy this dude was just going to bring a chick over from Craigslist. I was like, yeah, of course you are. That's funny. Because he would do those lines with his wife in the room all the fucking time. But yeah, well, Because they were real. Yeah, he's like guilty. He's fucking saying it out oh, loud shit. constantly. Just, yeah, like, yeah. take some of the pressure out or whatever. But... Yeah, couldn't deal with it. Wow. Sometimes when we're watching movies or like TV shows and I'm watching with my girl, she's always like, and if like the character is like cheating or doing something sneaky, she's like, if you ever do some shit like that, you're gonna find out what happens. <laughs> and she, she just always says that. But it's like, she's like, it's like a, we do it. It's like, I get threatened all the time yeah. too. That's it's banter. Latin side that's right. the Latin side. That's the Latin side. It's sexy to hear sometimes. She's it like, is. She's, it like, is. she's right? like, yeah, you keep fucking around. You ever do some shit like that? You're gonna see what happens to you in your sleep. Fuck around and find out. <laughs> she's like, she's like, I'm gonna get you when you I sleep. Never even, I never even see you fuck around. Nah, bro, I don't, I don't do shit. I've seen you fuck around. I, I fuck around with boys. <laughs> hey, low key, low key. There was a, there was a point in time. This is gonna sound super sus, as the kids would say. Yeah. But there's a, yeah. there's a certain point in time. Here. Yeah, there's a certain point in time where Tiff was actually worried that like, I would cheat on her with a dude. And that's what? what she yeah. Yeah. She's like, I see you spending all those hours at jujitsu rolling around with like, men. I'm like, damn, that's, I was like, you really feel that way? She's like, nah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, for real, that's crazy. <laughs> she thought you were a gay boy? Oh, yeah. Nick's yeah. like, for real? What? How'd you know? How'd you know? How did I you freak prove out? that that was uh, like, sort of likely? Just step on that neck? Step on that neck. Me a little bit? Step what, on that neck. What made her think that you're gonna cheat <laughs> nah, with a man? It was more of like a bit more than anything. It was like an ongoing. Oh, like, I thought it was real. But, I wish but, it was real. It was It was like serious enough where at certain points, I didn't know if she was serious or not. You didn't know if she was onto you or She's not. She's fucking. <laughs> <laughs> She's playing mind games with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Or do I have to seriously address uh, this? Uh, well, yeah, exactly. Like that. I have an alibi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Straight, but I can only use it once. Yeah. yeah. She's good at that. <laughs> That's funny.
fuck did that happen? <laughs> Bro, there's a ghost in this fucking office. The fucking office, bottle just fucking went down by itself and it's spinning. <laughs> I saw that. I saw a movement, but I don't know where. What the fuck is what that? The fuck? Did you bump the table? It's Lou Boo, not, bro. It's, I, I saw a replay on the live. It just, it just fell on its you own. Well, you bumped the, you bump the table down there? I did, yeah. The energy's too good. Yeah. Ghost of fucking water bottle. Ghost of Kiev, dude. Water bottle. <laughs> But yeah, Tip always gives me reminders. She I goes, in your sleep. She's like, I'm, I'm gonna get you in your sleep if you keep fucking. I was like, yeah. Dude. She can't threaten you. She said you're accidental. Right. Let me ask you does the, the history of cheating affect you, your trust currently? It's hard to ignore, maybe. Like, let's say you never knew a story that your girl told you and she just goes, like, oh yeah, I cheated on like three exes. Oh yeah, that's a Oh, that would be interesting. But uh, former relationships? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Does that affect no. today's trust? Nah. I think a giant bomb secret like oh, yeah, yeah, might yeah, be like whoa, yeah. but you know a fucking uh, if you knew from the jump when you were young and it's something that wasn't a bomb, but it was like oh that that was a poor choice. Uh huh. I don't think it's gonna yeah, be a huge deal. Of like life. if she cheated on her ex with her ex's brother. That's kind of a bomb. A bomb, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a bomb. Dude, I did. I don't. So I had a similar thing with Nikki, like straight man wise. Nikki was straight man to me because I told her all the stories about me getting revenge on like on like people who wronged me, like my. Ex friend and shit like yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> People who have wronged you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> How dare they? How yeah. dare they? Exactly. Just make a whole list. Like yeah. high, hardcore revenge, though, right? So um, she actually like was pretty um, in the early, early, early months of our relationship. She was like, she was like, you know, there is part of me that just thinks like, are you getting revenge on your ex because she really didn't want you to to hook up with me? You know, like, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't sure. think she really like thought a phantom that. motivation. Yeah, but she played it straight enough, like for a couple for a couple weeks that you had to address it. Yeah, I was like, wait, is this real? Yeah, like, yeah, what's yeah, going yeah, on yeah. here? And then yeah, so no, it was all good. She played it straight for weeks. Yeah, she kept, well, she kept she kept hitting me with like a little bit about it, like like, yeah. like little playful pokes, you know. And I was like, but oh, it's that a game for you because you're like, wait, do you really think that though? Cause yeah, exactly. Because yeah. you're like, whoa, I really yeah. love you though. This is crazy. It's like, like no, 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 it's not like that. But like. Our, our relationship was so hot and heavy and so quick. Yeah. Like it was like I was already like inside Nikki like nine days later. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> so yeah. Thanks. It's like a shuttle the shuttle launch. Yeah. What you did? Dude, hey, dude. Hey, so hey, the ghost hey, of JK hey. was fucking crazy. Like I could see it from the side and then the bottle just fall by, by itself. It's because he hit the table. He said, "No, that. Yeah. dude, it's it not." What it, it, look, it just yeah. went like it this. It felt slow taps. motion, though. It <laughs> felt <laughs> slow motion. Look, it felt slow motion. That was so weird. Could it do it again? That one's almost falling over. <laughs> Thank you guys for joining us. Thank you for joining us. Adios. Bye bye.